Well, in the long run, I do think uh, the current leadership will unveil some significant reforms. However, uh, the timetable is unclear. In terms of the economy, we know the leadership needs to carry out SOE reform, financial reform, fiscal and tax reform. Uh, all this will be outlined, I think, in the coming several months. The communique that came out of the third plenum was quite uh, vague, so there's not a lot of detail in terms of execution or implementation. But I think in the next several years, we can look forward to a, a, a series of reform programs um, on the economy. Well, you know, there are so many. Uh, to highlight a few, I would say number one would be financial reform, and that's interrelated with SOE reform. In terms of financial reform, I think by 2020, the Chinese currency will be a freely traded currency. I think it's quite likely, and by then, the currency will be traded uh, freely, not just um, on a, a current account, but also on a capital account. Uh, in addition to that, I think we'll see freer interest rates, uh, freer exchange rates, as well as uh, more globalization of the whole overall financial system. Well, the wording wasn't very clear regarding uh, the state-owned enterprise reform. However, we all know uh, reforms are very much needed uh, in the state-owned sector, especially in some of the heavy industries where you have lack of investment efficiency, you have lack of uh, profitability, and also a lot of wastage, frankly, of resources in terms of energy, in terms of uh, bank lending. So going forward, I would say the leadership will try and balance the state sector with the private sector. Well, I think, you know, the private sector and the state-owned sector can coexist alongside each other. But what we need is more of a level playing field, meaning the private sector and small and medium-sized enterprises need to get more funding, more financial resources, more tax support. Um, just in general, they need to get more resources. And after all, the small and medium-sized enterprises and the private sector economy are becoming much more important despite the headwinds. Well, you know, political reform wasn't very much expected anyway ahead of the plenum. However, in terms of the economy, I do think this leadership will set afoot some major reform programs in the coming several years, not in the coming several months. We all need to be a bit more patient. In terms of broad stroke economic reforms, we can anticipate uh, major reforms in land ownership, uh, in the utilization of land, for example, farmers may be allowed to use land as collateral when they borrow money. They may be able to lease land more freely in the future. This may not happen immediately, but in the coming five to ten years, I think this will materialize. In addition to that, urbanization has become a major driver for China's economic growth, and the trend of urbanization will continue. So even though the communique didn't spell out specific reform areas or timetables, I don't think people should become despondent. I do think all these reforms will require time and patience.